Hey all, just another very simple tip that um, someone asked in a, in a previous video is how to move and stop some of the windows overlapping or you know move some of the indicators off the main window. So the simple way of doing it is if you go up to indicators here and let's say we wanted to add volume. The volume is one of the, the main indicators that will appear on all the charts. And let's say we want to add something like an RSI into the strength index. And so you can see here see how the rsi has been added into like a little separate box of its own you know underneath here and with volume you can see that the volume chart is overlapping you know some of the price charts and so you can do things like you can you know hold your mouse key down you can drag your window around so see how you know just by holding my key down i can drag the the price around and if i double click here it resets it and so you know then i'm back to here and so again, shrink it down, move it around. But the thing that you can actually do though is if you say, well, you know, this is a little bit hard to see. So can I put it below in a window a bit like the RSI is? All you do is go up to volume here, click on these three little dots and see how down here you've got the ability to say move to a new pane above. And we'll click that one. And so you can see volume is now above your price chart. You could say, click the three little dots, you could say um, move to existing pane below and then you can click on it again and say move to new pane below and so see how it's now its own separate little pane where you can sort of you know shrink and move that up and down. Let's say you know you had a whole bunch and they were very small and it was hard for you to see you know what they're all doing and you wanted to zoom in a bit what you do is double click on the background and see now all of a sudden that particular indicator is now the focus of the main screen. And if you either double click or click that little restore pane, it'll go back down. So you can spend a little bit of time, you know, moving all these around. It means you can have different indicators, you know, above or below your charts. See how at the moment the price is covering um, this sort of sign in the background. So again, pretend that this was an indicator where you just couldn't see the price. So you can do the same sort of thing. We can right click on that. You can go visual order, bring it to the front and see how the price is no longer over the top of the, um, the box. So if you were making notes for yourself and you didn't want to get hidden by the chart, um, it's just a matter of, you know, saying to this thing, you know, visibility order, uh, I could send it to the back. And so once I do that, you can see the price is now, you know, overlapping that. So those are just some different ways of, you know, moving some of these, price things around um, there's other stuff too like let's say um, let's say I've got my volume here and again if I go to here um, I've got the ability to hide it I've got the ability to change it so I can click on settings and you know I've, I've got access to settings um, I've got access to see the source code for how it's being calculated you know it doesn't have pine source code for volume because it's too too basic um, I can get rid of it but the thing that I like to do is I can add an alert on it. So see how I can go up here and I can say add alert on volume. So I can click on that and I can then say, well, you know, volume goes above a certain point, you know, send me an alert, you know, so that's kind of a cool thing. I can also do things like I can add an indicator on that volume. So I can click on indicator and I can say, let's add a moving average or moving average. Moving average. So I can add a moving average and so you can have indicators on top of indicators and so see here you know now I've got the volume and I've got the MA9 and so again you know I've got complete control over it so I can say well let's make it a I don't know, let's make it a 30 day uh, moving average and let's make it I don't know red for something to do and let's make it really thick and so you can see here, so now I've got that, you know, moving average line, you know, over that to say, you know, tell me what the, you know, the volume is doing. I might say, let's make it 100 days. So I can say, what's the long term, you know, what's the current volume compared to the long term volume, I guess. And so you can see here, that, you know, there's definitely, you know, starts to build a bit of momentum. You know, you can start to see these green candles are really, you know, where the volume is starting to build, you know, whereas before through here, it was just nothing happening. But anyway, so that's just a very simple way of, you know, moving some of these things around. Um, you can, of course, also, once you're in the background here, see I've got my little up, up arrows and down arrows, so move pane down. So see how it's now below the RSI pane. I can say, 
um, move it back above the RSI pane, I can collapse it. So, you know, it's effectively got rid of it. And that's just different ways that you can, as I said, you know, mess around with, um, you know, your different charts. So I can still see I've got volume and RSI there. So I'm just going to say, bring it back up. This one down here, I can still see it there. So I'm going to say, bring it back up. Um, and again, might make that a bit bigger, might make that a bit bigger. And so super simple way of just being able to move different indicators around, you know, make sure that some of your templates are in front of others. Um, and that's just, you know, so it's, it's, um, it's pretty simple stuff if you know how to do it. But, you know, if you haven't had to do it before, you may or may not know, you know, that's, that's how it can be done. And of course, if I want to get rid of that, I can just click on him, it'll go away. And so I'm back to my, back to my volume. Anyway, hope that was useful to someone as always. Thank you very much for listening.